Hi, it's Captain Mark from King's Landing Sports Fishing, and uh, I want to do a quick video today on brining bait, whether that be herring, sardine, anchovy, could be whole bait, could be uh, cut bait. This brine works for all of those. Uh, I often get asked the question around if I've got a particular secret recipe, and I'm going to tell you today, it's not really much of a secret. Uh, the recipe I use is pretty simple, but it's very effective. So I'm going to take you through uh, what I use in uh, my recipe. And then I'm going to also take you through another way that I brine my bait because I do like to use both of these methods. The, fir the first method is uh, a bit more difficult or a bit more complex because you're actually adding your own ingredients. The second method, I'm literally just using something out of a bottle and it works super great. So uh, two methods today on how to brine your bait. So the fur for the first one, you're going to need borax. You can grab this in the uh, laundry detergent aisle usually. I think I got this one from Walmart. The second ingredient is uh, coarse or pickling salt. And the third ingredient is uh, Mrs. Stewart's bluing uh, agent, liquid bluing. Now this is uh, also for uh, laundry. It's actually to whiten clothing. And by adding this to the brine, it does not make the bait fish go blue. I'm sure if you added enough, it could, but we're adding so little. What it does, it really uh, shines up the, the scales it makes the silver pop in the bait fish. So if you can get a hold of this, great. If not, and you can't do it, don't worry about it. I used the brine for years without this with no, uh, with no problems. And then the last ingredient you need is some water. And uh, I've got a quart of water here in a, in a water bottle. That's how I know it's a quart. And uh, you should use distilled water, but I don't bother. I actually just use regular filtered tap water and then I leave it overnight for a day or so so any chlorine evaporates. And that's the water I use. And what I like to do to mix up my bait and then store my bait is I use these plastic uh, containers with a rubber or silicone o-ring. And these are ones that I get from Ikea. And I think they're about five or six dollars from Ikea. And, and they're perfect for the job because not only can you store the bait in them, you can mix the bait in them also. So to start with, I'm gonna pour the water in. That's the first ingredient I put in here. The second ingredient I'm going to put in is actually the coarse or pickling salt. And as I mentioned, I got one quart of water and I'm going to put half a cup of coarse or pickling salt. So if you were going to make uh, brine in a much bigger container, let's say you were using two quarts, you'd add one cup or, or four quarts, you'd add two cups. But you know, my recipe is one quart of water, uh, half a cup of coarse salt. Now I can tell you, when I lived out in Vancouver, this was my bait, Brian Dunn. It was basically water with salt. And I would mix that up and I'd put my fish in it. That was my Vancouver brine. And it worked. Worked just fine. And I used that brine also on Lake Ontario for a year or so. And then someone introduced me to adding the borax. And that's where I'm adding in a quarter cup of borax. What the borax does, it stiffens up the fish. And uh, I really like using the borax, and now it's, uh, it's something I use all the time. And again, mix that up. And this is a great brine, you could be done, you could be just adding your fish into it right now. That being said, I do have Mrs. Mrs. Stewart's bluing liquid, so I'm gonna use it today. So take the Mrs. Stewart's, and literally just a couple of spritzes. That's it. And what you'll see is, as I mix this up now, it's the water's gonna go a very light blue. It's almost like a bit of a baby blue color is the water. And keep mixing that up. And you can mix it up with whatever you have. I happen to have some scraper here because I'm in my office doing this video. But mix that up and there's your brine. Now, at this point you'd add your anchovies, your herring, your sardine, your strip bait, whatever. Um, it's January right now and I actually have some bait that uh, is in a container from last year. So I'm just gonna add that. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take six of these bait fish. I'm gonna drop them in. I'm gonna put the lid on. And that's literally done. Like I can shake that up a little bit if I wanted to, but that's really it. And now I'll take that. I'll put that in my fridge for a couple of days and then that bait's ready to use. 
So that's bait method number one. I, I call that the more difficult bait method, but it's definitely not a hard bait method to, uh, to do. It's pretty simple with these three ingredients plus water. But there's another method that I use quite often. So I've still got some bait fish in the other container. Got the lid here for this. And uh, it's this stuff. Potsky fire brine. I love this stuff. It's really, really great, especially when you're in a jam or you're in a rush. You know, if I happen to have a really good meat bite and I've, uh, I've ran out of bait and I need to start cutting some more strip bait, hypothetically, and I need to brine it quickly, Potsky's is the way to go. I personally like two colors. I like the natural and I like the chartreuse right here. And uh, these are these are great uh, great brines. Uh, I'm not going to use the clear today. I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the chartreuse since uh, the bottle's already open, and it is the middle of January, so I'm not going to uh, waste a whole bunch of uh, brine. And all you do with this, it's this simple: pour it in the container until you've got a good amount and your bait fish is covered. Put your lid on, and as you can see, you're done. It's as simple as that. You know, super, super easy. You know, up here in Canada, these bottles are about, I think, $11.99. Uh, I just bought a bunch from Cabela's actually online uh, to be shipped to me, so I have a bunch for the season. Uh, so they're $11.99. I think down in the United States are about $8.99 US for a bottle, um, but you know, realistically, I think I can usually get about um, 36 bait fish. Uh, now these are whole fish I did today, like uh, an anchovy or a herring for a, you know, like a, an anchovy uh, teaser head. But if you do strips, you know, you can probably do uh, easily 36 to 72 strips. Uh, you know, 36 fish, 72 strips with one bottle. So it goes a pretty long way. Highly, highly recommend uh, using the fire brine also. Um, if you're in a, definitely if you're in a gym. Myself, I do both. I'll make my own brine or I'll use the fire brine. The, both are really, really effective. So I hope for this video helps you. Uh, just a couple of tips as to how I brine my bait. Um, it works extremely well. Really stiffens that bait up. Gives it a nice shine. Everything we need for uh, whether you're running a, a whole bait with an anchovy or if you're running a a uh, herring strip in a, uh, you know, a hot fish or a John King or a Reese Davis uh, uh, herring, uh, herring strip head. Anyways, hope you find this helpful. Uh, good luck this year, you know, 2021. Uh, hopefully we're going to have a great season on Lake Ontario and across the, the Great Lakes and the Pacific Ocean. Uh, you know, I know uh, we've all been dealing with a lot with COVID-19 and uh, getting out and enjoying the outdoors and on our boats, uh, either on our own or with our family or with our friends or with our customers, it's, it's a real relief for us. So I hope you guys all enjoy that and uh, good luck in 2021.